Share today with some practical life questions that we have had received in the past so we just wanted to share uh, some light and we believe that this episode today will bless you all right you want to start with a question baby or yes absolutely honey i'll i'll do that you know, for today we thank you for the privilege that we are gathered here that we are here to just share with our audience we thank you god for blessing them we thank you for open heart we thank you for um, healing. We thank you, God, that this event or this um, broadcast will not just be a broadcast, but Lord, let it be bring healing and hope and restoration to families. We thank you, Lord. Have your way in Jesus' name. We pray. All right, guys. So one thing we want to one of the questions that I've really come across in the recent times is just something that I believe is important for us to share. What do you do as a believer, as a pastor? as a, a deacon, it's active member in the body of Christ. The reason why I decided to mention some hierarchies when it comes to leadership is just for us to understand that you can be anointed, you can be gifted, you can be in the ministry doing mm -hmm. great things, at the same time have a sick marriage. Mm -hmm. It's very possible. So what do we do? What do you do when you feel like you are in a wrong relationship or what do you do when you feel like you married the wrong person and that's one of the questions that i've been coming across what do you think what advice can you give to someone who believed that they saw red flags and perhaps they ignored them and they ended up in a marriage that they feel like today they are in a wrong marriage what do you tell such a person? Well, I think we've kind of mentioned a lot of solutions in the past of how you can improve your relationship and right. how you can grow in your relationship. And I know some of the keys are like, you know, effective communication. Sometimes 90% of the issues that we go through in our marriage is really just because of the way we communicate with each other. And when we're not able to understand this communication it can mm -hmm. lead to a lot of conflict most of the time we didn't grow up on how we can easily manage conflict right so effective communication conflict management those are one of the key things that people usually see in their relationship and they mm -hmm. say that they married the wrong person maybe they saw the red flags yes we cannot change our spouse but we know that the holy spirit does a lot of good in helping us to partner with us to make sure that we are able to enjoy our relationship but i feel like the first step you should do if you feel that way is to start working on some of the issues that you have seen in the relationship because you're already in this relationship right. um, our advice will not be to go get a divorce or separate because you, you are not in a harmful environment at this time we're not talking about people who are in an abusive relationship right. or anything of such if you find yourself there yes the best thing you should do is to leave but if this is something that has to just be with miscommunication issues that has just come up, we feel like the first thing to do is to start working how you can start resolving those issues. Some of the ways is to see a counselor, pastors, you know, people who can help you resolve those issues if you have not been able to resolve it with just your spouse. Thank you, baby. I mean, so if you are listening to us right now, us, you may you seen this video some other time in the future and you are not here live and you are in a relationship that you're already feeling frustrated you're already feeling like why am i here mm -hmm. i mean this is a wrong move right and you felt like this could have been avoided and you are just like samson remember the bible that there were some red flags for samson and god actually gave instruction specifically for something mm. and i've seen some you know people with a very touching story that will tell me that god revealed to them mm -hmm. not to actually get into this relationship and finally you ended up in this relationship so we're just asking what do you do mm -hmm. i mean you're already frustrated because everything you're doing to make the relationship work 
is not working. And you already have a mindset that, you know what, I disobeyed God. Mm. You know what, I, I made a mistake, so I'm in this relationship. And sometimes, the reason why I am pointing out this is because there are some leaders who may be in this very position whereby mm. they feel like, I shouldn't have done this. What do you do? And my wife just expressed some things which is basic. Mm -hmm. Number one is to get help. Don't be too big or feeling too proud. You know, pride, you know, prideful to not seek for help right. when you need help. It's important for you to know that you need help. One other thing that I just want to give us an advice right quick, even though I may not know the detailed stories or things mm -hmm. that has happened in this relationship. One of the first things that I also want to chip in here is that until you accept the person you have married, whether they are evil, whether they are the bad, wrong person. you know, as long as you continue to see them as the wrong person, you may not move forward mm -hmm. in this relationship. So you have to, first of all, accept this person accept to be that your wife. There was this treatment that is happening to us. We are not living by law. Right. That's one thing that we know, right? Yeah. We are all, God has given us the grace right. to live. Instead of having to condemn yourself, knowing right. that there's no condemnation yeah. for people who are in Christ Jesus. Amen. You know, like get yourself free first to know yeah. that you are freed from this bondage, from this gift. And right. I think that's kind of like how to move forward. So more especially, I've also seen this with people who are in ministry, people who were active in mm -hmm. church, people who were serving the Lord before mm -hmm. they get married. Mm -hmm. And after getting married, they feel like, oh, this was a wrong move. Mm -hmm. I thought she would change. I thought she would love what I'm doing. I mm -hmm. thought she would, he will be, you know, all of these expectations. and. You've been in the marriage for five years, seven years, six years. This person just have not made a move, have mm. not made any inch to actually just, you know, changing or trying to lean or compromise or negotiate with you mm -hmm. to just accept that this relationship can work out for both of you. It can be very tiring. More especially when you're going to marry, just having expectation how mm -hmm. things will go for you. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, the first thing is to accept what you have. God may not be able to work with what you don't have. Mm -hmm. There's always this first principle of what is in your hand. And mm -hmm. all you got is you first. Mm -hmm. So when we continue to look at our spouse as the problem, you continue to look at your spouse and just continue to compound and look at the problem. It could be very frustrating. So you need to accept, like I accept this person to be your lovely wife and become the right person in the relationship. The word of God says in the book of Romans that God will use all things that come our way as believers mm -hmm. he will use it for his own good mm -hmm. and work out something beautiful you know when i think about this you know this question you know like i said a lot of believers get stuck up with i married the wrong person mm -hmm. i know the person the lord revealed to me that i should have married now they are married they are having a good time you know they are not having problem mm -hmm. see i tell you, you are the one having the problem because you are looking from outside mm -hmm. you are looking from the outside so you need to work on yourself by accepting that this is your wife this is your husband first until you accept that until you are comfortable and convinced with the gift you have mm -hmm. you may not move forward so accept that you are married to this person whether they are devil or not how do you come to accepting it because i am you know like we talked about accepting is not just something you just wake up to do right how do you grow to accepting with you know uh, absolutely, honey. This is a work that the Holy Spirit does in us. You know, take for example, when I got married to my mm -hmm. beautiful wife, you know, when I got married to you, I came to a point where I started saying to myself, my goodness, I'm stuck. You know what? I'm being honest. I'm stuck. So it means that this is it. Yes. 
I'm not, you know, my mindset, you know, like I'm not going to have the opportunity to have to befriend a, a fair lady, a, okay, a right short lady. Like so, and I'll wake up in the middle of the night <laughs> after getting married for three weeks. I'm like, that's it. This is not like at that time we were still doing lovey lovey until we started having issues. And right there and there, I started feeling like, man. And it is very okay for us to be a little bit honest here that it came to a point where I said to my wife, I'm ready mm. to end this relationship. It's okay for people to see me as a failure mm. than for me to be in this thing. Mm. Because I started feeling like I married the wrong person. But today we are here after how many years? Counting? 11 years almost, right? Mm. Still here doing life together, loving on each other. And I realized, like I said sometime in our video, that love is not enough. Grace makes it possible. Love is not enough. So if you think you love somebody so much that you just believe, I'm just going to go along with this person. Mm. I'm just going to marry them and believe that they will come along the way for me yeah. down the line. Then what changed? Remember, that was a commitment you made to yourself mm -hmm. to love this person anyway, okay. unconditionally. So what changed? It yeah, simply means that, your perception have changed. It's that not that, this person. That person is you. It's you that have changed. And you're trying to, you, you thought maybe you could use what you have to get what you, what you want. Have. So the person that have the problem here is not the person you married is you delilah was always going to be delilah, delilah. yeah so something marrying delilah is not going to change delilah to become a better person Just but i'll tell you one thing from that story despite that samson married delilah mm. that did not close heaven against mm. samson mm -hmm. heaven was still open mm. over samson so when you focus on delilah a lot of people who are married will just say i have married the wrong person i have made the worst mistake mm -hmm. and you begin to react to what you have and that creates compounding problems you are now being emotionally driven mm -hmm. you are not listening to god mm -hmm. you are just on your own expressing mm -hmm. your emotion and reacting and you will just continue to hit roadblock mm -hmm. so what i'm saying here is that Samson mm -hmm. could still talk to God. Remember, even at the point of death, Samson made a prayer and God heard him. I wish Samson recognized that he could have said, God, okay. give me another okay. chance. Not just to only kill my enemies, but give me another chance to rewrite my Story. mistake. But Samson prayed, I'm willing, ready to die with my enemies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's something. For me, during the time when, you know, you were yeah. talking about, yeah. you know, that you were ready to, to and get the relationship. the relationship annoyed, I, you know, you started doing something different. One thing that you were doing is that you kept reminding me of the love that, you know, you. I felt like that goes a long way. For people who might be in, in distress, one person has to become the right person. So in this case, you became the right person. You said, you know what, I'm going to see that this works. And the more you were working towards that with God by your side, things started opening up. It, it no longer became like there was complaint, there was a lot right. of fights and yeah. conflict. Right. You know, I started becoming like something that was softening yeah. to my heart, you know. So yeah, I wanted to share that. Th thanks baby for bringing that to light so what what my wife is saying here you know is difficult after trying to tell my wife hey i'm ready to end this thing she didn't talk to me she would not say nothing and i realized that i was talking to the wrong person i realized that i was working on the wrong project i was trying to change her and i had to go back to god in prayer and i started asking god what do I do? I'm dying. What do I do? And one of the words that came to me was the word sacrifice. He says you have to become the right person for your wife. And that simply means sacrifice. What does it mean? It means you die to your emotion, mm -hmm. dying to your feelings, 
dying to. So I'm saying if you think you married the wrong person, right? Yeah, exactly. you, so, that would be the so if you think you married the wrong person, you have to become the sacrifice yeah, here. The, the Bible says, except a grain of seed or a grain of corn falls into the ground and dies. I'm just paraphrasing. It abides alone. But what happens when, when that corn falls into the ground and dies? That is sacrifice. Right. So you need to die to your emotion, to your feelings. Die? Yes. It means that you just have to begin to see yourself as a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And when we read this scripture, just, you know, see that, you know, God has brought this person into your life. Or perhaps God in his way, maybe was not, you know, like we said, the will of God. Well, I'm not there. We don't know. Maybe God wanted to walk in you. He needed yeah. to what you know i felt yeah. like i was a good guy i yeah. felt like I, I didn't know that that was pride by its own definition mm -hmm. in the highest order that that was just pride for me to think i'm a good guy so i can make in fact i once made a comment and i said to myself i can marry any lady and we're gonna have a good time in life like you can change anybody yeah even i can like uh, i mentioned actually one time yeah. i said even if this person is a prostitute <laughs> i guess you're gonna be the yeah. um, prophet in life. <laughs> that is something so just one thing that we want to say here so we don't over yeah, we want... you married the wrong person I can summarize that for you. Okay, baby, go ahead. If you cannot find a counselor, right. like sometimes what we think of counselors, we think of people who are crazy, who are mad that they are the only people that go to counseling. Right. I think we need to change our perspective, especially in our African world, that counseling doesn't mean that you need to just go sit down with somebody. It could be a friend. It could be a pastor. You can go in and seek some guidance. The second thing is for you to accept who you have married right. and start working on with the relationship. And yeah. the third thing is to sacrifice. Right. Yeah, we have so many bunch of things to suggest, <laughs> but we, we want to wrap it up here. But before we go, I just wanted to say that it's important as a child of God for you to know that even when you go through tough times, mm -hmm. that heaven is not closed against you. Yeah. No matter what you're dealing with right now, God is still alive and on the throne even if you have made a mistake even if you disobey god there's always a comeback opportunity mm -hmm. so do not conclude and ostracize yourself by putting yourself outside saying i made a mistake mm -hmm. and because of this i'm gonna I, in fact, they like want, I deserve it. Yeah. Like I, I think I've heard people say, because I disobeyed God. Mm -hmm. Now I think God is punishing me with this. I, we have done. Right. You know? So He wants us to confess. He wants us to say that we have sinned, and He's always ready to Abs forgive us. Absolutely. Yes, baby. That's important. I mean, we can continue this next, next week. week. Yes. Yeah. Stay blessed, guys. We'll continue this, and there is also more questions that we've come across in the recent time and i hope you have a blessed sunday we love you guys bye love you bye guys